New developments tonight to fight to fix deplorable conditions at a DeKalb County High School. Tonight, the school board voting against drastic renovations at Druid Hills High School. Dispiriting demands from students and parents. And this comes after uh, students released a video exposing an apparent sewage leak and mold issues on campus. CBS 46's Patrick Quinn joins us live. So Patrick, why the change? And then what does this mean for the high school? Well, it means some of the issues that students had called out, they will be addressed and there will be some changes, but not all of them. One board member who was against this vote, he told me it is a sad day for DeKalb County that some of the most critical issues at Druid Hills High School will now not be addressed. Instead, the board voted to spread some of the money out that was earmarked for Druid Hills across the district. Students rallied outside school district headquarters. A rally to renovate Druid Hills High School. Cries that could be heard from inside the board meeting. Students and parents upset that Druid Hills was left off a list for major modernization and renovations after a group of students posted this video last week highlighting the conditions. What has that experience been like? Mold, water damage, disgusting, gross smells, raw sewage, it's gross and it's unacceptable. The school board was voting to move forward with a modernization plan, but in an 11th hour amendment, rather than focus on Druid Hills needs, as initially suggested by an outside consultant, by a 5-3 decision, the board voted to split up renovation efforts to schools across the district. What Druid Hills is going through, yep, it is bad. But there are the schools that are going through the same thing. Multiple board members erupted to other board members sudden change. Because this was all made up uh, at the last minute. Including Marshall Olson, who said while Druid Hills surface level needs will be met in this modernization measure, substantive needs will be overlooked. It's really sad that we are willing to expose this group of kids to conditions which I think would be unacceptable anywhere else. And I asked board member Orson how students and parents who are rallying outside the building here today, how they should take this vote. He told me that maybe the takeaway message for them is life is unfair sometimes, but you must persevere. Now, when will these renovations happen? Who's covering the costs? Which schools are prioritized? I'm told a lot of that is still not known, but the board is expected to meet to hash out some of these details in the coming days. Live in DeKalb County, Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News.